Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, welcome. So in today's video, we're gonna be making over my rental guest bathroom. You guys have been following me along with making over different rooms in my space. So if you haven't been watching those videos, I'm going to link them, they're on my channel. After this video, you guys can go watch them. As I said, in today's video, we're gonna be making over the guest bathroom. It's really small, but we can do a lot with it. Well, I'm gonna try as much as I can and everything that I'm gonna be showing in this video is gonna be linked down below in the description box. I'm loving, I'm, I love so let's get into this video. So you may have already seen this in an empty apartment tour. So what I've done already is painted the walls white. But guys, I wanted to do an accent wall because I feel like it would look good in this bathroom. It's a guest bathroom. I could have done like a cool design on this wall. It's just plain. As you can see, I kept the regular fixture regular fixtures it's a stand-up shower in this as well and you're small i'm gonna work with it mirror remember i told you guys i was gonna take this down if you watch my video when i was at the wash you would know that they broke my led mirror the same mirror that i had in my regular bathroom i had one that is like way smaller for this bathroom they broke it so i'm like i'm not even take this down i cannot bother anymore Okay, there's two things I wanted to talk to you guys about. So this is Patmore's Hardware and Spallings. If you're from Christiana or Mandeville side, you can buy LED mirrors just like the ones that I showed you from this place and they sell it at affordable cost. I was gonna just repurchase one from here, but guess what? My bathroom, the guest bathroom does not come with any sockets at all. And if I would want to use, if I would want to plug in something and use in that bathroom, I would have to plug it on the wall outside of the bathroom with the extension cord and run it into the guest bathroom. So I couldn't buy the LED mirrors. This is me and Patmore's right now, like buying the hot water tank, but I couldn't find the footage of me going upstairs showing you guys the mirrors. They have mirrors the size of a mirror you would put in a powder bathroom, and then they have bigger LED mirrors that you put inside like regular full main bathroom. So you guys can check. And I know that the LED mirrors that they have that plug in start at $10,000, which I find is a good price. So maybe if I'm ever doing another makeover, I'll buy it and show it to you guys. But for now, I can only suggest. So you guys can go definitely check them out. It has a funky smell in here. So you guys let me know how I can get rid of the smell in this cabinet. I've left this door open for like days and the smell's still in there so give me your suggestions down below here's the sink nowhere to put my stuff storage same typical thing the ground okay so we're gonna get into this video i think i'm gonna start off with the shower here so i'm sweating already and i didn't even start yet so it's a stand-up shower and it's super small so i went to bashko no i did not i had to buy this from fontana pharmacy and this is called a shower caddy so this is a over the shower head shower caddy and it's saying that it's rust proof aluminum the last time i bought one of these was from bashko and it was much more heavier and better quality than the one that i bought it from fontana pharmacy this is the fontana pharmacy in mandeville let me tell you guys so i went to bashko to try and buy another one they had all these different ones but they didn't have ones like this and i haven't seen it for a while at bashko so i don't know if they just stopped selling it or people are just buying it out because when i tell you the price that they have it there is nowhere near like i think it was like two five maybe three grand the most the most for them and they're really thick and good quality and heavy and rust proof and i got this one and i paid four thousand eight hundred it's not my fave in regards to like heaviness but yeah so we're gonna put this on how it looks okay so it comes with this suction cup thing and i think it's to hold Oh, maybe it's for like the bottom part. Yeah, I think it's for the bottom. The top, I left the top rubber thing on and I put the rubber thing at the bottom here because I don't want it to fall when people are baiting, that's sad. So the next thing we're gonna do is put up products. And I went shopping yesterday and I don't know why I didn't check my stock, my own personal stock prior to going shopping. Guess who bought a lot of the same stuff? Like I already had lotion here, I, ha I already had a lot of shampoos here. I'm not really mad that I have so much. You can never have too much. But I'm gonna show you guys what I bought in Spalling, like insane. So I have this, I'm gonna put this. So I'm gonna make this guest bathroom unis unisex because both like males come over and females have male friends that come over. Family members, like if they sleep over and stuff, at least in case they forget anything. Cause you know how sleepovers go sometimes, it's just last minute, like no, just stay at my place. Yeah, so I'm gonna have male stuff and female stuff. This is unisex, St. Ives, so oh, I got this. Look at this, two whole bags. 
two whole bags of things that I bought in Smalley's, thinking that I didn't even have. So for guest bathrooms, you're gonna wanna have a lot of things for your guests. But as the video goes on, we'll talk more about that. But I'll share, I'll share with you guys more of this stuff. So at a haberdashery at Wilshire Plaza in Spallings, I forget the name of it, but it's at the bottom of Wilshire Plaza, the white plaza. Whoa, it's not white anymore. I forgot what color, I don't know what color they painted it now. But I bought these. So I'm not gonna put them in the Dove, because I have St. Ives. But this bottle's smaller than the one, so I'm gonna think about it. And I got Dove Men Hair Care. I think this was five something in Spallings. These were both five something. So I got one of these. So it's a body and face scrub. This vibe, so this is at the Harbor Dashery in Spallings, right beside like the Bigger Beta Lottery place. The Lottery stand, stand. let me tell you guys what I bought because I bought so much stuff in there because it's so affordable. Well, for the bathtub portion, I got some hair care products, so shampoos and conditioners. If anyone wants to, was one of these open? Cause it's something spilled. Oh my gosh. Tresemme, shampoo and conditioner. So these are gonna go up here. Okay, so these are gonna go at the top. This can't fit. These can go at the top. I'm gonna have to switch up this and put in the Dove one. So this is too big and I know the Dove one will fit. Cause it's smaller. So maybe a good thing about that. So yeah. Then I bought this Jergens lotion. So the good thing about guest bathrooms is that like these products are gonna last a long time. So I feel like I'm not gonna have to re-up on them, but I have so much, I have more lotions and then I have like extra shampoo bottles and stuff. I'm gonna think about how I'm gonna store them. We're gonna think about it. I have a soap too. I don't know about you guys. I like being with bar soap. Soap for those or even me. Like even if sometimes people come over to my house and they're using the other bathroom, I'll just come use this one. Like it doesn't matter. I just have two bathrooms. So you, um, I'll put the bar soap for those who want to shower with bar soap. So this is how it looks. And that's all I'm gonna do for the shower portion. I'm just gonna just keep it simple, minimal. I have hot water in the shower too. If anyone is wondering about the information in regards to the hot water that I have, I'm gonna link my bathroom makeover, like my main bathroom makeover, and you'll get more details about how I installed hot water in this apartment because it gave the option that you can install, but they didn't have it. I would have to buy all the stuff. Go watch that video, I'm gonna of course link it. We're done with the shower. Yeah, it was so quick and easy compared to my other bathroom. Now what I'm gonna do is we're gonna focus on the shower curtain. I have a few shower curtains. So there's this one. There's too much white in here. So I have a liner, a shower curtain liner, so we need one. And it's just white, so it's okay. But we're gonna put up the shower curtain. I think the blue would give some color in here, which I actually want. I got this at Bashko. This was, I think, $1,300. And it comes with a set of the hooks. The hooks are not the best quality, guys, just to let you guys know. But we're gonna work with what we can at the moment. So guess what? The shower curtain is too short and I'm actually sad because I'm like, I don't know if I'm gonna get shower curtains that have the correct length that I need. It's so short. So I'm gonna see if the one that I bought at Extra Extra in Scarborough, sorry guys, I didn't let you guys know, I bought this in Scarborough in Ontario and stuff. I feel like this might be a little bit longer. Oh, no. No, it's the same thing. Oh my gosh. There's stuff on the ground. Sorry, this is so annoying. I might have to. I just hope they have longer lengths. That's the only thing I'm hoping for because <gasps> light is gone. Oh my god. It's been raining a lot every day. It rains every day because it's rain season, so the light's coming in and out. I don't want to have to buy something on Amazon because I'm gonna have to wait. So we're gonna have to run on the road and see if we can find longer shower curtain. But anyways, I'm not gonna dwell on that right now. Now, look at this, okay. Remember the products are, is the toilet, and then I'm gonna put some shelving on there so I can put extra products. So I bought these shelving units off Amazon. This is how they look. The thing with this today is that you have to screw them into the wall. I'm living in a rental, so I'm not screwing nothing into the wall. Especially into tile. Yeah, that's tile. So I'm gonna see if I can get some like heavy 
duty glue. My double-sided tape that I love so much that I buy in Mandeville because there's nowhere else that sells it except Mandeville. I went to Mandeville yesterday and they're sold completely O-U-T. And they sold out after I posted my bedroom makeover tour. So I don't know if a lot of people went there and got the tape, which I do not mind because I'm ready to put people on, but they sold out. So I'm gonna try you some super strong glue on the town and see if it would stick. I have like four of these. I'm gonna put up all four. So I'm gonna try you some heavy duty glue. And not only that, I hope this works. And honestly, whoever gets this rental apartment after me is gonna be lucky. They're gonna have so much storage split, um, solutions. Ah, crap, I made the glue drip. Oh, this is burning. The wall is uneven. <laughs> Okay, I kind of got this one on, but I think it's gonna fall. I don't want to use the black baskets I have. I just feel like they won't look high end. It's gonna like bring it down. So here they are. So it's one of these ones and like, it's gonna look weird. I don't think it's gonna stay. As soon as the thunder hit, this fell. It's not gonna stay. I'm gonna have to figure out how I can get double-sided tape. So, I have these shower curtain clips. I don't know if they are longer. They are way longer than these. So it's gonna hook on the same thing, but do you guys see the length of these? And it's longer, longer. So maybe the shower curtain will go a little bit longer. So I'm gonna switch these out and then we're going to see. <sighs> Nothing is going as planned, guys. Okay, it's way longer than before, but water's still gonna come out. It's still gonna get wet. As you can see, it's like very bare and minimal. Nothing is going on. I went on Amazon. I got one of these. So all you have to do is peel off the back. And then we're gonna stick it on. I think I'm gonna put it like... Then I bought cup holder off Amazon. All these are from Amazon, I'll leave them. And this is supposed to hold two brushes, toothpaste. Over here in the corner, and all you do is just stick it on and it just sticks. Then I got this soap dish. I'm gonna put it right here. So I'm just gonna peel it and put it on. So this is how it looks. At least this is working out. Okay, let's decorate this now. So I got this from Bath and Body Works. It's just a uh, hand soap. Put it right here. I got this fluffy thick, and this is a hand towel. So I'm going to put it right here. I have a toothpaste that's like I already opened, so I can put it in here too. Got some bar soap for if anyone wants to wash their face. I was thinking like maybe I should have like face wash, but usually, if people use facial wash, they usually bring it with them whenever they go in here. So I'm gonna put that right here. And that is it. Okay, now I'm gonna be doing this here. Ouvre. And I'm gonna fill this up with some medicine. Maybe this is a good thing I didn't take this one down because all this is like, like pills and like creams. Up here, like muscle rub. So, I'm just gonna put them up. Someone was like, how come you always buy the equator? And I'm like, bro, I just shop at Walmart and buy whatever is like cheap. Like, I don't really care. So like, I have things like this, like Voltron and stuff. I don't know, the girl was weird. Yeah, I'm gonna go spend like $10 on bad days. I got this at a pharmacy. I think it was at like the Duaney Park Plaza. I bought this at the pharmacy in Jamaica. It's supposed to be wash out, but I felt like it didn't do anything. We're supposed to like help with worms, but I feel like it did not do anything. Back to having a guest bathroom. I got some more stuff. So I got deodorants. I got these in Spallings and I got this at the Harbor Dashery right beside the lottery place. Like when you're buying lottery tickets, it's literally the Harbor Dashery, the red Harbor Dashery right beside it. And these are $250. Well, they last on me. Four of these, and then I got some wipes. I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put the wipes above the toilet. I don't know. And then in the next bag here, 
I got shavers for anyone who would guess their shavers. Leave it. Whoever wants to use. And then I have rags. I bought so much rags, but I don't think I'm gonna have it all of them. I'll probably keep it one of each color and then I'll put the rest up here. And this was for $500. Upstairs, Sun Mart, and I'm talking about the Sun Mart at the Lights and Smallings. I'm talking to people who live in Smallings, Christiana, Mandeville, yeah. So if anyone thinks these rags are too small to baby, make sure you guys don't forget your rags. Oh, of course. I also have toothbrushes. Some people prefer these toothbrushes because the bristle is much more harder. So they prefer this brush. And then got these ones for anyone who prefer these ones. And they can just have them, like take them. These are so cheap. I think this was like $30 at the supermarket and then this was like a hundred and something dollars at the supermarket. I got four for now. I don't think like I'm gonna have that much in my house, but just in case. And then I have one of these to go in case anyone wants to bring a toothbrush with them. Okay, so that is it for storage. As you can see, more things can go in here, but I'm just leaving like this for now. So I have this, I brought this from Canada with me. Okay, I'm gonna start off with these rags. No, maybe it's unsanitary to put rags over the toilet. I'm just thinking about it. Like what if I roll them cute? So this is how it looks. I have a feeling I'm not gonna leave the rags here, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. So they have the wipes and then the rags here. Okay, new toilet paper. Okay, so I bought these towels at Walmart. These are bath towels and they're supposed to be like spa-like. Let me show you guys. They're so thick and comfortable. They're supremely soft and very absorbent. So if you like the absorbent feel when it comes to bathroom mats and just towels, this is it. And I think I spent like $11 on it or 12 or maybe like $10 on one, maybe I think it was. So. I'm like, this is such a good deal for such a good quality. I picked up two of these and they're great. I also bought two in blue, but depending on what my shower curtain is going to be, tomorrow we can like switch these out if I decide to go with the blue. This is how it looks. Okay, this is how the rug looks. I might get two mini rugs, like one mini one there and then one mini one there. So I'm gonna sleep on it. So that is how it looks so far. It's boring. I have these. These are, these are like like Asian writing, I don't know, Chinese writing. And it says love, love, dream and happiness, I think. I mean, like I don't really have anything that's like Asian in like theme wise, but I need to start using what I have and stop buying, buying, buying. As time goes on, I can probably get other stuff. So I'm gonna put up these three on the wall right here. Oh, so sorry, it says Asian art writing from Bed Bath & Beyond. This is how they look, cute. Guys, listen, I'm back. I just came from Spallings in Christiana. Spallings, none of the ATMs were working. You cannot rely on card in Jamaica, and I'm gonna say this again. You cannot rely on card down here because number one, the ATMs, a lot of the ATMs will stop working randomly, and then you have to go to like another town to go use the ATM, or like their machines are down, right? But in Spallings, the machines are up, like for the stores that accepted card machine, but the ATMs, I'd say two out of the four ATMs were down, and then the other two that were working, the line was too long for me. So I went to Christiana, and then I only shopped at places that accepted card, so, I got some more stuff. Let's see if you understand. So I got this plant to put on the wall, to give it some like greenery in here. Got this at Price Gel for 1,200. A quick haul. Um, I got these two water, well I got this spray bottle for the bleach because I already have disinfected. It will make more sense as the video goes on. I got this at, let me tell you the name of the store. Midtown Plumbing and Electrical Supplies. So. This I got from the store at the back of Price Jail. Well, it's not the back of Price Jail, but at the side. Like if you're going down the street to go to Price Jail at the side. I got this. In here, the light bulb is screaming purple. And they told me this is like daylight and this is the brightest one. Really bright, so I bought this. But this is the main thing. I got shower curtains, so I got this one. It's like a more fabric-y one. And then I got cleaning cloths for this bathroom. And I bought all this stuff. No one's waiting on Amazon, I'm sorry. 
So I have to be shopping locally, which is fine. You guys can't tell that the light is purple. It's because I have the ring light on. And then I got this shower curtain too. This was 1,300. The other shower curtain was 1,600 and that was like more of a fabric material. Yeah. And then I got a shower liner, but this one is way more longer. 72 by 72, so this should fit. And then I got this to try and put up the shelving. Ah! So let me take this off. And let us start. I tried cleaning this off yesterday, but it wasn't coming off. I don't know if this is gonna stick with all this at the back of it. I should have like made it sit in like hot water last night while I was sleeping. Try this. This should work though. Okay, I'm gonna make this dry for a bit and then get back. This is so dirty. This is what the super glue did because I mixed in super glue. Final moment of truth. I'm applying pressure. The wall is uneven. Like this part is uneven. So this tile is raised higher than this tile. But by God's will. Okay, I'm gonna give this an hour to dry. I put my phone on here to test the wait to see if it would fall down so far so good okay so this is why i always tell you guys when you have a vision go for it because this looks so good up on the wall and then i'm going to put the product so we're going to go into this i'm trying to think what shower curtain would look good in here it's nice like it's very nice and summery i'm going to try this one and see how it looks i feel like this might be nice i hope this is longer because it did say it was longer and i think it's length times width tell me if i'm wrong it's always length times width right so the length is 180 and the width is, yeah. Oh my gosh, I think it's the same, short. <laughs> you know what, I give up. Okay, clearly this, sh I need to go on Amazon. I'm not going on Amazon, but I think I'm gonna have to. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go on Amazon and buy extra long shower curtains. Sure you guys, the length is longer than the blue one I had up. It literally touches right here, but I feel like water is still gonna come out. So I'm gonna have to go on Amazon. Look, oh, water definitely is going to come out. Look how high this is. I don't even wanna know how much I spent on shower curtains that don't fit. I don't wanna know. I think I spent over like $100 to be honest. Anyways, so these are the cleaning products that I'm going to be putting in my bathroom. I have bleach, I have disinfectant that has no smell to it. It's supposed to be like natural all-purpose cleaner. It literally has no scent. It's like biodegradable, dye-free, sucks, no one buys it. I have toilet bowl cleaner and Ajax. I'm gonna put this at the bottom where the toilet is. And I'm gonna put this cloth. These cloths suck. I bought them at Price Gel and Christiane and they suck. They're so thin. I like like thicker cloths to clean with, but I'm gonna go and use this. I just feel like if it's thin now, not even being wet, I don't want it's wet, it's gonna feel like paper. For the green plan I bought, I wanna use one of these and put this in here and then put on the shelving. I don't think the shelving is ready yet, but we can try. Today we're gonna see if it's gonna fall in here or not. I don't know why I thought I had, I can do, this one. I thought I had a skinny tall. I'll do this one. And tall vase. I shipped this down from Siren. If anyone's interested, I just got it at the thrift store. It was like 50 cents at the thrift store. How do these open? I hope they can open. Because what would be the play? I should have got two plants from Maxi's. Yo, this is so ugly. And guess how much it was? 1,200. I think I showed you guys. That's embarrassing. Okay, where can I put this? <laughs> I'm nervous it's gonna fall down all my hard work. Okay, let's try this. Okay, it doesn't fit. So, this is too wide to fit on the shelving. So I'm gonna have to go in with a much slender and slimmer. Okay, I have this. This weighs so much. I wonder if this is gonna break down the shelving. It didn't! Okay, let's try this. Oh my God, it works. Okay, I found some more of these while I was getting like bigger products. So I'm just placing them up here. Oh my gosh. 
light is gone. Okay, so this is how the bathroom looks without the ring light. So do you guys see why I want it to be brighter in here? I'm gonna switch the light bulb in a bit. Okay, so I have one of these. It is an automatic spray, so you just refill it. What I do is I open this, right? Okay, so here it is. I'm done with this for now, okay? This is not how it's gonna be because I'm gonna buy a plant for it, a small plant. I'm just happy the shelves went up. Do you guys see it? It's so nice. Okay, we're gonna change this and I turned it off. Anyways, I forgot to tell you guys that I got like this cheap toilet bowl. This very inexpensive toilet bowl cleaner. I'm gonna show you guys the lighting. So this is the lighting, the bathroom lighting with this light bulb. This is how I look in it. Okay, it's not showing on camera, but it's giving purple undertone. Okay, I'm on my step ladder. And this looks better. Let me show you guys the old one. This ugly LED looking one. Find a moment of truth. Eh, not too bad. I see the difference. Yeah, I see the difference. It's actually way, way brighter. I see like a greenish, yellowish undertone. Not yellow, but more on the greener side, but this is way brighter, so not complaining. Okay, so that is it for today. I will see you guys in a week max, so I can get the shower curtain. The shower curtains and the shower curtain liners. Hi guys, I'm back. I'm sorry if I look like this. I just came from a photo shoot. Follow me on Instagram at anisha.adams to see how I look. I had to be in good, good mind level before six o'clock and I left Spalling's at 5.30 and I reached Mandeville at 5.50, like two. I reached like right at the company because I had to pick up some packages. As I told you guys, I had to get extra long shower curtain, extra long shower curtain liner. And I don't know anywhere that sells it in Jamaica. So if you guys know somewhere in Jamaica that sells extra long, please let me know. So we're getting there. So let me show you guys. I picked up a few packages. Listen, I thought, I literally thought that I was gonna go only pick up the shower curtain and the shower curtain liner. I'm like, what else did I buy that I don't even know about? And I don't care if you guys see my address, you guys can send stuff to my PO box. It's not my house address, it's just my PO box address. So I bought the shower curtain, they shipped it literally in <laughs> the packaging. I'll of course have it linked down below, it's from you Friday. If this is not long enough, I'm going to scream today. I'm not even over exact. And I got an ugly color, so it comes with this. I got an ugly color because the light that I wanted, the colors that they offered were not in stock, I guess. So I got like this blue, which is supposed to be sheer right here. So we're actually gonna put this up right now. Oh gosh, it's so long. So it actually fits, let me show you guys. It's touching all the way down the ground. So here it is. So this is a shower curtain liner. 72 inches by 84. Ooh, I love to see it. Let me finish this up. I feel like the color is so ugly and masculine, but we have to work with it for now. Oh, if anyone's wondering, remember I was telling you guys I thought it was gonna take a week? It took like three days, three, four days. It wasn't anything long, maybe three days, I think. And I ship with Shipwise. Guys, if you're liking this video so far, make sure to share it to someone that you think will like this video if they live in Jamaica too and they're living in a rental or they live in their own house and they want ideas. And Make sure to subscribe because I have a lot more videos similar to this. So this is how it looks. It looks high. Right. I'm not gonna say it looks the best. This is what I have to work with. Like everything was sold out when I, during the time I was checking. So as you can see, it touches the ground. Honestly, I would prefer this than what we had to deal with before. You guys remember how short it was? Yeah, no. Okay, wraps around. The tall shower actually creates the illusion that in here is bigger than how it actually looks. So. I'm not complaining. Remember I was complaining at first, but not anymore. Anyways, we go into the shower now, and then when you look here, it touches in the shower. I prefer this because I remember I was showering in here before, and the water went everywhere, so I'm glad that this is touching the ground and it will work. Okay, we're gonna open up this. I kind of like when the shower curtain is open to be honest. It looks, it makes it kind of look so like. Oh, this is a Shein package. What is this box? What did I, like, what did I order? I don't know if this has to do with the bathroom. Yeah. Remember I was looking for the double side tape? I just got them now. Cause I had to place an order. I'm like, yeah. I'm not running out of this tape ever again. Sorry. Oh, this is for my 
front door. Okay. I'll see you guys tomorrow because we only have like two more things. We have to finish up with this. I'll see you guys in the morning. Guys, we are back. Okay. I went to Fontana Pharmacy again. And let me tell you guys what I got. So I bought this cute set here. Well, it wasn't a set. I had to put it together. And then I saw this. This was $8.99. At Fantana in Mandeville, if anyone's wondering. I got this, and then I saw this in another vase in the store because I was getting upset. I'm like, why does this store not have any like pretty like greenery? They only have like those fake flowers. And I was like, oh. So I went back to the vases and I was staring at all the vases, and I saw this sticking in a vase. I'm like, yeah, I'm taking it. I took it out of the vase, and then I realized it was tagged, so they were selling like it wasn't, I thought it was a set. So they were actually selling this one like separately. I guess they put it in the vase to show like style. This is how it looks. It's cute. We're gonna put it up on here. So I got this. This was like two hundred and something dollars. All right. So <laughs> okay. So we're gonna put this up, and we're gonna put this up too. Remember, I did this all freehand, so tall bottles cannot fit on this row. And I was like, let me just do this for now. So, because I really don't have nothing much, and I really don't want to pop up my plates. This is only the guest bathroom. So, I got another bin from the same store in Mandeville it's called M51. It's uptown, right across Mother's. They, this is for I think $750. Doesn't come with a lid. I like it like that because you can just throw stuff in. So, the cleaning products are over here. Actually, I can put it under the sink. Yes, it looks good over here. It looks good over here. So this is the final walkthrough. Woohoo! So as you can see, I have some pictures up. I have the gray towels. Everything that I have here is going to be linked in the description box if any of you guys would like to purchase. Toilet paper. Got cleaning supplies specifically for this bathroom, the toilets. I have extra rag and I have wipes. I don't know, I just put those in there. And then I have my floating shelves and all these extra products. In case any runs out, I can just grab off this shelf. Here is our shower. Change the light bulb. It's giving masculine, but we have to work what we have. This is the sink area. Garbage bin. Here is the small mirror. <laughs> that we're gonna make it work. If you're shorter than me and I'm 5'7", this mirror is not gonna work. Like they put it up way too high. And then in here has all like up there, it has like medicine and stuff, extra things for the guests, extra toothbrushes. Let's go into the shower. This is the shower. I love how I use this instead of the stick on stuff because like it's gonna save space. It's clean and white. The shower curtain, my fave, it touches all the way down. So if you guys did like this video, make sure you guys share it to someone who may find it helpful. Comment because whenever you guys comment on my videos, it tells YouTube that you guys like my stuff and then they will start showing my video to more people on YouTube. So definitely do that. Like, share, subscribe. Subscribe if you want more videos similar to this. I'll link other makeovers that I have done and I will see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you guys think down below. Au revoir.